these shoes retail at 350 US dollars for a pair of running shoes. They are the Solomon S Lab XA Alpine 2 Advance. And tonight I'm going to try to figure out what makes them worth the price that Solomon is asking because it's absolutely insane, right? Let's do it. So before we get into the shoe itself, let's talk naming. So the name is extremely long and it makes no sense even when you understand what all the words mean. So the first is Solomon. That's obvious. That's like the shoe manufacturer. Pretty popular shoe brand. Pretty reputable. Nothing crazy there. Next up is S Lab. Now, if you don't know, S Lab is like a sub brand from Solomon. It's like their super techie performance type gear. It's a little more expensive. They work a lot more directly with the athletes. Nothing too crazy there. Um, next up is the XA. This is the weirdest part of the shoe for me. I don't really know what XA stands for. I think it's like a line of trail running shoes that they have, but I couldn't find anything online about it. Next we have Alpine 2. Now this is the most, this is like the normal part of the shoe. This is the name of the shoe. It's the Alpine 2. Um, there was an Alpine 1, I'm sure, and this is a modified version of that. Finally, we have Advanced. Now Solomon Advanced is like another sub brand, sort of like S Lab, but it's more fashion forward from what I understand. It's not really, it doesn't make a lot of sense when you put them all together, but a lot of time and effort went into this shoe clearly. Now that we've gone over the fine print, we can get into the shoe itself. These shoes would fall under the general category of trail runner. They have a carbon rock plate. It's like a weird ultra light zigzag looking plate. They also have some pretty serious lugs on the bottom, not like Snowcross, which are a Solomon shoe that is made for running in the snow, but enough to provide some decent grip on packed snow. These shoes are designed, according to Solomon, for above tree line racing, which is a really specific use case. Um, they also have an integrated gator that gives them that weird look. It has a little bit of water resistance, but they're not advertised as waterproof, and they're definitely not waterproof. The point is just to keep stuff out of your shoe. You can also open up the gator, unzip it or unbutton it, or both if you don't want to use it. But no matter what you do, it's not going to be as breathable as just a normal Solomon running shoe. The big question is, do these shoes perform? And the answer is kinda. I mean, I brought these shoes above treeline, did a little bit of running, hiking in them. They do fine. Um, the gaiter is pretty useful at keeping stuff out of your shoe, if that's really what you're worried about. I personally never wear gaiters, so I don't really know if there's a difference, but I didn't get anything in my shoe, so if you're really looking to keep stuff out, then they work. The negative side effect is that they make the shoes less breathable. Your feet will get warm if it's hot out in these shoes. They are not very breathable. Even if you unzip them, you still have a lot of extra fabric, which doesn't add too much weight. I think these weigh 360 grams or something like that. You can look at all the specs on the Solomon website. I just, I don't know. The grip is pretty good. They have like a contra grip sole, but you can find that grip in literally any other Solomon S Lab shoe. Uh, they do pretty well on ice compared to other sneakers. Uh, you could probably attach strap-on crampons, although it wouldn't be ideal. And you could definitely put micro spikes on for wintertime stuff. And the gator will keep a lot of the snow out, but again, they're not waterproof. So they're not like a specific use case winter shoe. It also has the weird Solomon lacing system that you either love or hate. Personally, I think it works pretty well, but these shoes take forever to put on because you have to put your foot in. Pull the lace tight, tuck the lace into the pocket on the tongue, or just stuff it to the side. Then you have to zip up and button the gaiter. It takes like a really long time. So should you buy these shoes? Probably not. If you're dead set on a pair of shoes designed to be raced above treeline, just get the XA Alpine 2. You don't need the advanced colorway that costs $100. That is, unless you're going for like a tech wear ninja post-apocalyptic look. In that case, you could throw some cargo pants on, and then, then it's more of a fashion purchase and less of like a running shoe purchase, but it does look pretty cool. But to be honest, I wouldn't even recommend the XA Alpine 2, because I'm pretty sure it's based on the Solomon S Lab Sense 8, which is the running shoe that is like you can see inside, and that's $70 cheaper than the one that's $100 cheaper. So it doesn't even make sense to buy the XA Alpine 2, because I don't think the built-in gator is that useful. And if you're looking for more of like a boot, more structure, Solomon makes another shoe called the Alpine Modular, which is a beefier mountaineering shoe that'll give you actual protection and warmth. If you're just looking to stunt though, you could do worse with the money because they do look pretty nice. So 
thanks for watching. This isn't really normally what I put on this channel. Um, I don't do many videos at all on this channel, but this is not like the others. So let me know if you liked it or didn't. Also, like, what is Solomon doing? Like, it's kind of rude to your customers to charge $100 extra for a shoe that is obviously just a different colorway. It's kind of disrespectful in my opinion, but hey, if people will buy it, um, people will sell it and gotta respect Solomon for the hustle, right?